good morning students today we are going to talk about the next topic the harmful microorganisms you know the from the beginning itself we will discuss about that uh, what is the meaning of the microbes or microorganisms you know the microbes or microorganisms means we cannot see okay what that microorganism is present everywhere in that atmosphere like the air water and soil even the food itself that we can't see in our eye have you seen through only in the under the microscope only and the uh, classified microorganism you know like that bacteria fungi protozoa algae and virus so these are the major microorganism and uh, next the uh, microorganism where will live and where will survive okay so today topic the harmful microorganism so microorganism you know that microorganism you know just you remember one second you know what is the meaning of that microorganism you know it's one of the living organism okay ma it's very very tiny object or tiny particle but we can't see in our eye without microscope you can't see in our eyes you know so let's the how will you spread the disease how will you spread the disease definitely through the microorganism okay ma definitely the how will you enter the disease in our body definitely through the microorganism okay so the such kinds of microorganism is benefited for us for example the lactobacillus you know the lactobacillus is one kind of the bacterial microorganism what is the main role of that one you know the milk is converted into fat with the help of that bacteria what is the name of the bacteria lactobacillus okay in some other bacteria also is harmful for us in some other bacteria also is harmful for us you know all the disease you know all the disease carried through the microorganisms like that bacteria or fungi and virus you know all the disease you know bacteria bacteria and virus okay what and fungi and protozoa is it so all the disease all the disease it can spread only through the microorganism only through the microorganism okay what so for example the some of the disease causes through that bacteria and some of the disease causes through the virus and some of the disease causes through the fungus and protozoa itself okay what so some disease you know the some disease carry through that microorganism is known as called the pathogen the pathogen is nothing but the some disease you know the some disease causing microorganism you know this is causing this is causing this is causing microbes or microorganism microbes or microorganism that is called the pathogen the pathogen is nothing but the microbes or microorganism Okay, what? The all the disease, you know, all the disease causing all the disease causing through that microbes, microorganism that is called the pathogen. Okay, it is a very very important for my question. So the pathogen means something bad. The disease carry, okay, what? The disease always carry through that microbes or microorganism that is called what? Pathogen. That is called what? Pathogen. Okay, what? the some microorganism the some microorganism naturally is spoil the buffer and cloth and that and leather itself the some of that microorganism it can spoil the food you know spoil the food and cloth and like the leather it okay so the next sub topic the this is causing microorganism in human the this is causing the microorganism in Two months. Okay. <coughs> so the pathogen, you know, the pathogen means nothing but like the microbes. The pathogen means nothing but like microbes, bacteria, virus, fungi, and protozoa. 
Now what will happen? When you have started the sneezing, so some of the moisture it can spread in that. Yeah. So whenever the healthy person they all breathe the air through the dermis, what will happen? Definitely the person they will suffer. Definitely the person they will suffer. That is why the family of the disease. Okay, ma. And the non-communicable disease is made. The such kind of disease cannot spread. Such kind of disease that cannot spread infected person to healthy person. Infected person to healthy person. So that non-communicable disease is made. The such kind of disease. Cannot spread. Okay, ma. Cannot spread infected person to healthy person. For example, it is like the contact, you know, contact and sugar. Okay, ma. The some of the disease it cannot spread from infected person to healthy person. That is called the non-communicable disease. That is called what? Non-communicable disease. So. The disease mainly be classified in the two types. One is a communicable disease, and the one is the non-communicable disease. Okay, ma. In some other way, okay, ma. There are some insects and animals which are carriers of disease-causing microbes. So, uh, before this, I told the disease-causing through the air, water, and soil and food and stuff. You know, in some other disease, it can spread through that air. And animals, okay, ma. In such kind of this is such kind of this is it can spread through the animals, okay, ma. Animals or insect which are carriers of it. This is causing microbes, okay, ma. For example, the housefly, you know, like the e, you know, the housefly is one such carrier. So the carrier means can hurt uh, the like the transfer, okay, ma. The housefly, you know. The housefly is, you know, housefly. That housefly is always sitting in the carpet area. Okay, what? Like that uh, housefly is sitting in the carpet area in our surrounding. Okay, what? And fly is. Okay, what? And that uh, housefly or fly is uh, always in, sitting in the uh, carpet area, even the road side itself. Even like the mosquito also sitting on the carpet gym. Okay, wow. So the pathogen means what? Like the microbes. Okay, wow. Whenever that fly or that some other insect sitting on that carpet or that food item. So what will happen? That pathogen. Okay, wow. That pathogen it can releasing that. On the food, okay. Releasing on the food. So what will happen now? The food item is contaminated. Okay, but that food item what will happen? Contaminated. So what? Whenever the person eating that food, definitely the person suffer. So that's why we will feel like that vomiting senses and food poisoning and then loose motion or diarrhea because of the food is contaminated. Okay, well, other than that, see, get to push because of some pathogen like bacteria or virus or some other pathogen is present on that food item. So that's why you should not eat the roasted food item. Ah, um, should not eat the uncooked food item itself because the food is very very dangerous for our health. Yeah. Okay, well, so that's why we never eat that kind of food item. Okay, well. And you eat only in the healthy food item only. We eat, we eat only in the healthy food item only. Okay, ma. In some other insect, for example, like the, we will suffer that malaria. You know, how will it spread through the malaria? <coughs> through the mosquito. It's one of the insect. You know, like the female anopheles. The what is the name? The female anopheles. Okay, ma. What is the name of that mosquito? The female anopheles. The female anopheles. The female anopheles mosquito. The female anopheles mosquito is carrying that malaria. Carrying that malaria. So the female anopheles 
that is a one kind of insect okay but it's one kind of insect this female anaphilis mosquito it can causes the malaria malaria is one kind of disease the malaria is one kind of disease okay ba for example the female anaphilis mosquito which carries the parasite of malaria okay ba so in the purpose now in the purpose the female anaphilis mosquito in the purpose vandu endu disease spread padudha malaria ka disease spread padudha okay and next one the next one the female aries okay ba the next one the female aries the next one the female aries okay ba the female aries disease the female aries mosquito the female aries mosquito it can spread it can cause the dengue it can cause the dengue virus it can cause the dengue virus that's so why it's very important okay ba so that the female anaphilis okay ba the female anaphilis mosquito the female anaphilis mosquito it can cause the malaria malaria is one kind of disease and next one is that the female aries the female aries so this kinds of insect it can causes the dengue virus it can causes the dengue virus okay ba already we know that malaria is the dengue so both of the disease it can spread to the mosquito how will you spread this kinds of disease so this can you know the mosquito can always sitting on the carpet side so what will happen that that carpet is already contaminated okay ba so that uh, mosquito suck the some of the material from the body then the mosquito bear will say in the road side you know some food is some food item is available in that road side now what will happen the food also is contaminated you know whenever the person eat that food item so definitely we will suffer the such kind of So that is very important. The female anaphilis mosquito can start can cause us that malaria disease, and the female aries disease. The female aries disease it can female aries. Uh, this insect it can cause us that dengue virus in the human being. Dengue virus in the human being. So all mosquitoes breed in water. You know all mosquitoes breed. You know. What is the meaning of the breed? The breed will nothing but like that increase, you know, through the, the sexual contact. Okay, what? The breed means what? In a pet term. Okay, what? So the, all the mosquito breed in water. All the mosquito breed in all the mosquito breed in water. Should not let water collect anywhere. A school, a school, tires and flower pot. You know. Where will you get ma mosquito? You know, during the rainy season, sorry, you know, during the rainy season, increase the rate of that mosquito because of carpets and unwanted things. Okay, what? Like the tires or flower pot, you know. During the rainy season, if you see that rain, definitely the mosquito breed in that water area. So next one will happen. Increase the mosquito level. So that's when the government announces. Okay, what? During the rainy season, definitely clean in our surrounding because of the rain. Okay, what? But higher level, na, like what? The water store area, right? definitely na go. So mosquitoes sitting on that water. So what will happen? Increasing that level of that mosquito. So that's why what will happen? Can you still to spread the dengue and malaria fever? So first you should avoid. First you should not let water collect the tires and the flower pot. Okay, what? But during the rainy season, she is always keep surrounding in your clean. Okay, but during the rainy season, what you do? You never see the the storage water during the rainy season. Okay, what? Definitely, you can remove or release that water. Okay, what? In the Malay culture, in the Tamil story, we name part. Okay, what? Because of that mosquito. Okay, what? So the mosquito when it can. Causes the two diseases, you know, like malaria and the dengue.